Hey everybody. Oh, look at the sun shining on me. I, I in another world I would move and readjust, but not today. I'll take sun no. shining on me for sure. Um, hi Maggie, how are you? Hi. I'm good, Molly. How are you? I'm good. Everybody, I am with Maggie. Uh, Maggie, share with everybody where you are from. Um, I Currently, I am in Painesville, but I am from the Orange Senior Center in Pepper Pike. So I'm part of Orange Community Education and Recreation. I'm the coordinator at the Senior Center. Super fun job. <laughs> yeah, and I will tell you, you guys have definitely pivoted. Um, you know, there are businesses out there that just say, well, our job is to take care of our seniors in our in our building. Can't do that right now. Uh, we'll get back to it in June. And then they all go home and you guys are probably working harder right now than you've ever worked before uh, in a good way. I mean that in a, a compliment. Mm -hmm. um, share with everybody a little bit about how you guys are continuing to stay in contact with the seniors um, in your community? Um, so currently, uh, when we left the Senior Center, we took our membership list and all their contact information home with us. Um, and so that way we could reach out to all our members. We do two email blasts a week. Um, and in those emails, we have current, most up-to-date information about COVID-19, different scams that people are coming out with right now that they're targeting seniors with. Um, and we also have fun things in those emails too. So um, we have yoga videos from um, people that our yoga instructor suggested our members watch or Tai Chi. Um, we include fun little staff pictures with three little words um, like, I can't tell you what tomorrow's will be, but um, we did one that said, keep smiling, and that one included all our dogs. So, oh, and we, we posted one, um, it was three people, and it said, we miss you. And we mm -hmm. posted that on the Chamber website. I love that. So nice. And then um, we've just been contacting, like calling all our members who don't have email, um, just to really keep in touch and fight against isolation and just being alone. So we call about 75 people a week um, on wow. the phone and have a nice little chat with them. And, you know, it's fun to hear all their stories and they make you happy and, you know, they just send positive vibes to us. So it's so nice. So How fun. challenging is it um, because you are in a category that um, maybe is not so um, computer savvy? Um, so how challenging is that? And, and, and have you maybe thought that when you do gather back, um, computer and uh, iPadding may become a class at the senior center, <laughs> or maybe it already is, I don't know. Um, it is already a class. We offer one-on-one -on -one computer training with a Brilliant. computer person. Um, I am not tech savvy at all. So um, a lot of our members are becoming more tech savvy. Someone, um, an older gentleman, uh, Gus, he learned how to use Zoom. So he contacts all his lady friends via Zoom. And, um, you know, they're just, they're uploading pictures and sharing things with us. So they are pretty tech savvy. And, um, you know, we just insert the links in the email. So the link to the census or the link to get the absentee ballot or, you know, just different things like that. So all they have to do really is click the link and uh -huh. if I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Um, and then what uh, do you feel like the things that you're putting in place because of this social distancing um, may continue on um, after this is done and when you're back, um, you know, meeting in group? Um, I definitely think we could for sure keep some of this stuff. Um, like our caregiver support group, they met online, like via a conference call. 
So that might be something that we could offer, um, you know, later on if they can't actually leave their house because um, they're caregiving for someone. But um, I can't wait to just get back and physically be with people. And I know that they can't either. So I, yeah, we'll see. We keep email blasts going and those definitely will continue to happen. So are you, uh, do you have folks within the center that are heading out to, um, you know, if they need groceries or anything like that, or are you uh, kind of turning that over to um, Orange, uh, you know, the, the folks at Orange? I know that, that you guys have a community um, mm -hmm. task force in Orange. Mm -hmm. um, the community task force actually reached out to me earlier this week for um, information on our seniors who use our senior transportation service. Um, because those task force workers wanted to go out and go grocery shopping for seniors um, in the community, which is wonderful. And I hope they take advantage of that. Yes. And um, all the members have my contact information. They have Julie's contact information, who's our assistant. And then they also have JC's contact information. So all our members, anyone in the Orange community can call or email us and I will gladly go grocery shopping for anyone and get whatever I can on their list. So also some of the other staff at Orange Rec, um, they said they would be willing to do that as well. So we will do whatever we have to for our seniors in the community. You're definitely dealing with a generation that um, has been through a lot and um, yes. they don't sit on their couches and do nothing. Um, so how are you encouraging them to make sure that they are staying home and, and this isn't about being independent, it's about being smart and safe? Mm -hmm. um, again, just in the email blasts, we're saying, you know, stay home. We cannot um, tell people enough. And this is what the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging also told us to make sure that we're informing them, you have to stay home. We understand that you like to go to the grocery store. You like to go here. You like to go there. They're more active than me, but yes. you need to stay home. You need to find something to do at home. And we just on our phone calls with them, we tell them, you know, stay home. We want you to come back to the senior center and party with us. And hang Amen. Out with us. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> because grocery shopping is almost an art for some of them. Oh. You know, I mean, it's, yes. it's a big deal. They, they do their coupons mm -hmm. and they head on out. And um, it, I'm sure it's very difficult to have them understand that this is, it's time to stay home. And they cook mm -hmm. like no other, um, some of them. So, you know, mm -hmm. they, they need the ingredients and, oh, God bless, God bless. What, um, when you head back, which we will, because we will get through mm -hmm. this, um, what uh, activity um, will you stand there and just start crying and be like, I I'm so happy we're back doing this? Probably day one, <laughs> back in the building. Um, we will, uh, I'm crying now just because I miss them so, so much, but um, we will just stand at the door with our arms wide open. Um, we actually had to cancel our St. Patrick's Day luncheon. So I'm willing to have corned beef and welcome everyone back and just yeah. Uh, it's I think uh, I, I saw a post that we'll have the biggest uh, St. Patty's Easter blah 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 party that that anyone's ever seen right mm, yes oh my gosh. which is great <laughs> oh my gosh uh, and how is your staff holding up you know you guys aren't used to uh, working virtually how are you are are they getting through it. Um, all of Orange Rec staff, so that includes like uh, stage crafters, open door, um, youth department, sports, um, Jill Corsak, our director, her assistant Kelly Borders. Um, we've been meeting once a week uh, via video conferencing. So that's kind of fun to see everyone and um, see what everyone's house looks like. But, um, <laughs> I um, love that. Yeah, we meet that way. And then um, my staff, Julie and JC, we talk all day, every day. 
um, you know, from seven in the morning until late at night. We talk about TV shows and we're really a good team. So I'm very lucky to have two wonderful ladies who work with me. So that's awesome. Now, are you guys a nonprofit? Um, or are you funded are, through the village? We're through the school system. Okay. So we're through Orange um, City Schools, so we okay. work with them. So mm -hmm. you have all been able to maintain your positions. Um, you know, that's that's the, the scary and sad part is that, you know, businesses, they're, they're jamming and they're working together as a team, and then all of a sudden this happens, and the last thing a business wants to do is lose this this great team that's you know mm -hmm. and, and it's just uh even if you're laid off it doesn't guarantee that a you'll be able to bring them back or b they'll be available when it's time to bring them back so this is such a so i'm glad you guys are all able to stick together and uh because i know you have a great team there thank you we are very lucky and i'm very thankful that you know i still have a job so yeah. it's good yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so during some of this downtime, not that it sounds like you have any, um, <laughs> is there any hobbies that you have uh, picked up or always wanted to do and now have picked up? Um, I currently enjoy doing puzzles. So like old fashioned puzzles. I have one on my dining room table. Um, and then I have a 10 month old chocolate lab oh. and we go on walks. So he is probably really tired of walking around the neighborhood, but um, that's pretty much what I've been doing. So it's nice to pass the time that way. Yeah, isn't it funny that um, in 2020, the biggest game out there is a puzzle? That is what I heard on the news. I couldn't that's, believe it. They were, the shelves were empty of yeah. puzzles. So. so crazy, so crazy. I do know <laughs> that, um, Shed, which is a um, a boutique down in Chagrin Falls, they just said that they they're it, just getting. I did an interview with them yesterday, and they're just getting some new puzzles in. So FYI, um, and they'll nice. ship to you. Um, oh, cool! Yeah, so that's a that's just. And I know Fireside Bookstore has um, lots of cool puzzles down there in Chagrin Falls. So, um, uh, so if you could say one thing to any to everybody, what what would it be? Um, I would say keep in contact with your friends and family, take care of your mental health, um, call a friend who you haven't talked to in a while or send an email, just keep in touch. Yeah. Um, even though we can physically be with someone, we can, you know, still communicate with others in different ways. Send a letter. Right. I would love some mail <laughs> I know we uh, just purchased a um, hundred cards and um, we bought a hundred bookmarks um, the ones that you can color like the, the oh, tiny nice. therapy um, and uh, the Lord's Prayer uh, in a bookmark as well so we're gonna uh, my daughter and I are gonna spend the day uh, sending cards and and love <laughs> So good deal. Yeah, Wonderful. yeah. I encourage everybody to yeah to get out there and uh, go old fashioned, old school. Mm -hmm. Write a letter. <laughs> yes. Get the penmanship back in order because I know mine's not up to par. That's for sure. Probably mine not either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much um, you, for joining Molly. me, and and thank you for continuing to you know, um, take care of um, our seniors out there in Orange. And uh, we, you know, I, I think during this time we have learned that superheroes aren't always the heroes that we think they are, that capes are being worn in different business categories. Uh, and I think that we are seeing that. So you, my dear Maggie, are oh. definitely wearing a cape and we thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Oh. Molly, thank you. Thank you. You have a great day, and I don't know what day it is, but enjoy it. <laughs> thank you. You too. All right. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.